So I took another test. Um, my anxiety had gotten really bad. I actually started uh, the rashes come find out that they are um, just hives uh, as a result of the anxiety. But anyway, that with the sinus infection, which is slowly starting to clear up, um, had really had my anxiety going. And it's, it's incredible. I mean, I'm still amazed at what the mind can make the body do. So, I mean, honestly, it's, uh, it's, it's just incredible. So I went and got tested again, negative again. And at this point, I really just can't, I mean, there's no way I could rationally, you know, even irrationally find myself still afraid um, as to whether or not I, you know, it's like hiding in me or something like that. It's not. Um, so I had, you know, this time around, I mean, mind you, those, that 20 minutes is, is like the longest 20 minutes waiting for that, that test, that strip. Uh, but when I was in there getting the test done, um, which is the fourth gen test, um, when I was in there getting the test done, the technician, I almost had to sh teach her <laughs> how to do the test, which kind of worked to my advantage because what happened was the last time I started doubting the technician's um, ability. And I guess that's just a part of it, you know, part of the anxiety and how I was justifying the fear. So I, I had, you know, essentially I did the test myself this time. and. And I had done so much research on how the test is supposed to be done. I'd watched so many videos. And um, I even knew that once the test, as the test is, as the blood is kind of propagating up the, the test strip, if it, it'll flash pretty daggone quick um, if it's in your system. And there's these two little blocks. Well, there's three blocks all together. One's the controls at the top. Then you have two blocks below it. And that's the one where you don't want the lines coming through. So, um... Uh, but it flashes pretty quick. There's actually videos on YouTube that kind of show it. If you put in like fourth gen positive test into your search, you know, you'll get it up. It's like a five minute video that shows how fast the uh, test flashes. And it, I was, so I knew kind of right away that I was all right, but I'm staring. I mean, I had this dead stare on it, just waiting for, for it to flash, you know? So, um, but no, didn't. I mean, there's no denying it now. So I'm working my way through the anxiety still. And yesterday I'm sitting in the theater and my back like caught on fire. Like it was so hot as I'm sitting in the chair. And uh, I checked my, happened to check my heart rate and it was up to 137, 137. I, I'm, I'm a fit guy. Like I didn't go to the gym. I mean, I haven't been to the gym in like two weeks, uh, almost three weeks now, um, which is huge for me because I was in the gym, you know, five days a week for the last several years um but i i didn't uh oh let me see if i can catch this let me see if i can show you this hold on real quick i don't know how to do it uh, is there a way to uh, i'll just do the video little baby birds drinking out of the fountain over there that's cute Anyway, I don't know if you can see it there, over there. You can't see him. I can't zoom in and I can't turn the video camera around. Anyway, so um, I, I just started feeling, um, I started having an anxiety attack. Um, it didn't turn into a panic attack because I didn't let my mind kind of run away. It didn't last very long, but it lasted long enough to, um, where it was obviously concerning. Um, so my whole focus has been on the possibility of HIV. And I don't even know if you heard, if, um, but they have healed a couple mice, you know, of, of the virus. So they're pretty hopeful that they're going to go to, I guess, some um, primate clinical trials and see how that goes. Pretty awesome. You know, maybe they'll have a cure uh, in a couple years. Um, but even with that, I mean, people living with HIV, that's, 
you know, living for a cure is not really the way to to do it. So I hear. I mean, um, but still, you know. So happy Fourth uh, for those of you suffering, um, you know, mentally and feeling alone. Just know that you're not you're not alone, and um, hopefully you spend today doing other things besides searching all over the internet for answers that are not there well there's answers there <laughs> i mean it kind of got me through but it does more harm than good um so i'm in a better place today thank god and uh i'm just gonna be out here on the hammock looking at the birds meditating went for a bike ride not bike ride on the bike harley this morning and uh, that was really nice um, really nice way to start my day. It was up at 5 a.m. I uh, rode out, hiked up a mountain, Tai Chi up there, and uh, came, it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. Got to watch the sunrise. It was a beautiful morning. So, um, all right. So, I mean, back in a couple of days, talk a little more about this anxiety. I just wanted to update on kind of my status um, CDC says more than 90 days you test negative it's considered conclusive um, you know from date of exposure if you know hopefully you know your date of potential exposure so you can kind of start counting I know exactly what mine was because I had been um, on Instagram that night and I had been posting stories when I got pricked by a, a, a hypodermic needle inside of a restroom um, so, um, actual accident, right? I mean, sh shit happens. Sad part is it's the second time. First time was in a restroom here in the U.S. And, uh, they had the hypodermic needle behind the, um, handles of the sink. And I almost didn't catch it, you know, because they moved pretty fast. And this time it was by the toilet and I just happened to drop my phone. And, like I said, it's bad luck. Um, so I hope y'all have a great day. This is my garden. Pond back there. All right.